easy to the like point where it's really fun because I'm just crushing everybody, or if it's gonna be so easy that it's boring. So if I know you have a good hand and I'm still betting, and I'm still betting a lot, what do you think I have? And all of these players probably f***ing tweeting about their great hero calls against me. Like you think after I bluff five times in a row, I'm gonna bluff again. No, that's six levels above you. Yeah, this will be fun. Um, I never feel like playing, um, you know, anything below 25K, but people want to see me playing, you know, like that doesn't give everybody a chance to play with me. And uh, yeah, you know, Sometimes it's good to give back. I mean, I'm obviously not giving back. I'm gonna have like a 300% ROI, but um, giving back in my presence. Um, and in a sense, giving back, because you know, my hourly is much higher elsewhere. Um, so I guess I'm giving back to the people that I'm not playing elsewhere. So you're welcome. It'll obviously be easy. Um, and I, what I don't know is if it's going to be easy to the like point where it's really fun because I'm just crushing everybody, or if it's going to be so easy that it's boring and uh, you know going to regret ever signing up. Um, but I can always leave. I can always leave um, if it's feeling too easy. I had a good call with Elliot this morning. He was. I mean. I wouldn't say good call. He was trying to like temper my expectations and uh, uh, kind of show some humility, which like, obviously, uh, obviously I'm extremely humble and, uh, and I always show humility, but he meant privately. Elliot is fantastic at what he does. He doesn't, he doesn't like play poker like I play poker. And so when I'm explaining that like everybody has literally no chance, you know, I pay him to, to hype me up and stuff. You know, it's, it's kind of downer to be honest. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna play play. Um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to play and I just, uh, I'm going to try to distract myself a lot, uh, by being on my phone because I'm just going to get super, super bored and sick of it. Um, just giving the stakes, obviously. I don't know. I just think like, I think that if I were to pay any attention to the action, not only would I be more bored because I'm not looking at my phone, um, but I would be that much more bored because of how easily I will read everybody. Like if I'm getting reads during the hands that I'm not in, then Uh, there was a um, there was a Twilight Zone episode where this guy was he, he basically just like start he was winning everything he was at a casino and like every, every role he just won and um, everything he tried in life he just won and um, eventually like the the moral of the story he was actually in hell because he just it got so boring to win at everything. Um, I didn't watch that, but somebody told me about that episode. Just for, not for me, but for, you know, 
for I mean for my fans. That's what's it all for? That's that's what it's all about. It's like you know giving back to people who love you and uh, and support you and got you to to where you are. I mean it's poker, so um, my fans don't get me to where I am because like I got to where I, I am by playing poker, but but. Um, alright this is it so uh, we'll be out there in a few minutes and uh, I'm going to crush some souls and uh, probably won't update my stack on Instagram or anything I don't have time for that but um, you know you'll see me on the final table there it is another summer you know I never used to love coming to this place but it's it's starting to grow on me honestly <laughs> only took 16 years all right, pulling up. There's people checking out of the hotel. It's a good time to get out of here. It's about to get packed. Um, it looks pretty dead so far. Wow, they clo They have this section closed off. Um, <laughs> you're gonna need to open that soon. There's only one RV up there too. It's probably Negronius. All right, Rio, we are ready. Oh my God, it's not here. All right, let's go to Paris. So how'd today go? Well, started off on the wrong foot. Um, we showed up at the Rio and I don't know, it was really downhill from there. Um, just kind of couldn't get anything going. I mean, after I was, I was blinded off for like 90 minutes, you know, tried to win it back by just blasting off in every pot. And it, uh, I don't know, it's like, it's like people, they like want to beat me in a pot. They want a hero call me. And so they have a story to tell their grandkids or something. Um, when like, yeah, of course I was blasting off every pot and I basically never had it, but yeah, I mean, played every spot essentially perfectly and they played every spot essentially terribly. There was one older gentleman at the table who was folding when I was betting and so he was playing well, but basically everybody else, it's like they had never played poker before. I mean, obviously they could tell what their hand was, uh, but beyond that, I think not much. Um, just couldn't. I was, I was representing hands really well with like exact bet sizing. I was betting every street every time, but, um, you know, based on the board texture and, you know, what I put them on, um, what I kind of knew my range would normally look like. Um, I mean, I was sizing perfectly. And, like, not just sizing perfectly, sizing in a way that it was so obvious that I had a good hand. And yet, I mean, it's just like playing 40 levels above them. What's the point? I don't know why I play tournaments. All of these players probably f***ing tweeting about their great hero calls against me. Oh, Galfon showed up with no pair again. Yeah. And, like, they have no idea how lucky they were that I just kept whiffing with, you know, admittedly a wide opening range. But, like... Jesus Christ, I was 4xing pre-flop in every spot. So like, I know that their calling ranges are tight. I know they have good hands once they see a flop. And they should know that I know they have good hands. So if I know you have a good hand and I'm still betting, and I'm still betting a lot, what do you think I have?
such a joke. It's such a joke, honestly. Poker's a joke. I mean, tournament poker is a joke. It's like every hand I knew what they had. I knew that they had trips. And they should know that I know they have trips and I'm still just blasting away. Yet, just fucking click call. Maybe Phil's bluffing again. Like you think after I bluff five times in a row, I'm gonna bluff again. No, that's six levels above you. I called Elliot, uh, my mindset coach on the break. He hung up on me. You're just supposed to tell me I'm great. And then, you know, hypnotize me. You tell me I'm great again. The one time, the one time I flopped a set, two other players in the pot. I soul read them both. One has air. One has an under pair. So I check. I mean, I've been blasting every hand and you think that, like, let's bet again. But, and you think, you know, I've been showing down bluffs every single time, so they're going to call me down. But no, I know that they don't have anything. So I check. I give, I give her a chance to bluff. I give him a chance to, to hit an under set. Checks through. Turn brick. Stick with my read. Check through. Um, River brings a backdoor flush. And uh, I mean, I bomb it. I'm like, at this point, like maybe somebody's hit a pair. I don't know. My reads aren't perfect every time. And uh, sure enough, get raised by a pair plus flush, which I guess, I mean, so sure, technically my read was wrong, but I thought she had like air without a draw, but she would also, if she had a pair with a draw, would play it the same way, act the same way. So, um, so that's why I got that, you know, whatever I show up, I play 60 hands. I play them perfectly and just doesn't matter because it's a 60 hand sample and like whoever's luckiest is going to win. And obviously that's not me. If there were no luck in poker, if there were no luck in life, I would have it all. All right. I, I'm like, I'm so bad at cursing, but I think I have to. So apologies in advance. Suck. I'm gonna do Thomas. I'm gonna do a few takes. I feel uncomfortable about all of them. I'm gonna be cursing because I think that's kind of part of the bit. <laughs>